Hello everyone, Virgo, cross watchers. Thank you guys for joining us. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at Virgo's weekly tarot reading for November 10th through the 16th. If you find this message is helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. You're also more than welcome to subscribe to the channel and join the tribe. Everyone's always welcome here. If you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box. Also, if you would like to get entered into a drawing for a free personal reading, the information is below. Pretty much comment your astrological sign below, like the video, and if you're subscribed to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload the video announcing the winners. So Virgo, in the pre-shuffle, I was getting the sense that there's going to be an opportunity for clear communication, um, an opportunity to clear the air or gain clarity, um, something clearing up a situation. And I feel like this situation has been taking up a lot of mental space in your mind. So when I mention this, you probably already know what I'm talking about. As the full moon moves into Taurus, there's going to... I don't know, this person may come in, to, come in for communication. They may message you on social media. They're going to reach out um, some type of way. Being open to the message and honest with your communication will help create the space for the talk that will pull your heartstrings together for sure. This clarity, this closure is going to be needed to help you get back to business as usual. Okay? I feel like this situation has been bothering you, Virgo. I feel like there's something that's been heavy on your mind. Um, this message, this person, maybe you run into them at the store. Um, however this communication comes in, there's a need here to be open. Open for the message when it comes in and ready to speak your piece. Okay, make sure you pay attention to your words. Mercury is still in retrograde. So um, be aware of that. But sometimes there's, you know, we don't want to make decisions and we don't want to communicate and all this stuff during the retrograde, which would be like in a perfect universe. <clears throat> but sometimes we can't avoid it. So we still need to be ready. So the oracle cards that are coming out for you, Virgo, are Unfinished Symphony, Soulmate, and The Tribe. Which again, <clears throat> there's some unfinished business. This person that comes in for communication may very well be a soulmate soulmate connection but I feel like you guys may be in separation or maybe haven't been talking with the tribe here at the end though I feel like this communication may bring you guys closer together may strengthen this connection strengthen this bond And don't be so hasty. I know some people out there are always like, I'm not talking to my ex again and all this other stuff. <clears throat> what if in that one moment that your ex came back with a sincere 
open and honest apology and just laid everything out on the table and was like look i know i effed up you're like the best thing that happened to me and now we went through all of this i'm not looking for you to forgive me i just want you to know that i know i messed up what would your reaction be how would you react to that what would you say it's kind of, it kind of gives you the green light, right? You're kind of, the person just laid out all their feelings on the table and now, what do you say to that? So let's see here, Virgo, what the tarot has to say about this unfinished symphony. Most important message, spirit for a Virgo. For November 10th through the 16th. What does Virgo need to know? You still think about this person, but you're tired. There's something that you don't know in this situation. There's something that you don't know. And I think that this is something that is going to be unexpected. This information that's going to come out is going to be unexpected. But I do feel like there is a lot of sadness, um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress about this situation, right? A lot of ruminating your thoughts within your head, okay? There's going to be some open communication about emotions. Get clear. I know some people don't want to hear from their ex again and all this stuff, but understand that this could be a perfect opportunity to speak your piece. Like, to, this could be an opportunity. I'm excited for you, Virgo, because this could be an opportunity for you to get closure in a situation that's hindering you, right? Like I was saying in the pre-shuffle, the closure will be needed to help you to get back to business as usual. Don't look at this situation as like, oh, my ex is coming back. Oh, yeah. It's the retrograde. Your ex always comes back in the retrograde. Look at the situation as, oh, I got to tell this person exactly how they made me feel and why I'm not entertaining this anymore. I get to express that. When they were breadcrumbing me and splitting their energy between me and another person, it made me feel left out in the cold. And I really didn't even understand the whole situation at first until now. So even though I appreciate the lessons that I've learned in this situation, I don't know if I want to open my heart back up to being vulnerable because I don't want to take the possibility of getting hurt again. Just be real and honest and raw with it. Getting clear on what you want to say in this situation is definitely going to be beneficial for sure. 
six of autumn. That's the six of pentacles. This tells me there was definitely some breadcrumbing going on. Like I was saying. But this card also tells me that everything that you went through, Virgo, wasn't in vain. There is going to be good that comes of this. They may even present a resolution. Even though I don't think that you're going to budge, I don't feel like you're entertaining this. I feel like you're doing your own thing. You're not. This person has done what they did. They've juggled you, uh, put you on the back burner. Didn't appreciate you for the person that you were. And I feel like this had you questioning, questioning yourself. But this is going to be an opportunity for you to speak your truth. So just be very real with this person about how they made you feel. Just lay it all out. One last cry. Completion of the cycle. Yep. Uh -huh. Trust your intuition. Let your intuition guide you in this because I feel like um, you know what's best for you. I wouldn't look at this as my ex is coming back. This is a soulmate connection. Your ex is coming back, but I feel like it's foreclosure. You're done. Done data. You didn't. You didn't go through all that just to have it brought back into your life again. I feel like you're ready for something more positive, a more positive, a more fulfilling connection. So appreciate. Appreciate because you wouldn't be at the point that you are right now without this person. That part. Put your heart's true desire into action. I do feel like this person has transformed you into the person that you are today or not necessarily transformed you okay but they helped mold you into the person you are today by what they've put you through focus on yourself focus on this positive movement forward self-discovery, self-healing, focus on your goals and your dreams. What is it that Virgo truly wants? I do feel like there is going to be successful and positive movement forward from this, but there's still some lessons that you're summing up here as well, okay? One thing I do know is this communication is going to bring closure and this closure is needed for you to get back to your normal self Virgo so take advantage of the opportunity so that is the message Virgo that I have for you thank you so much for all the love and support thank you for liking and subscribing if you would like information on how to book a personal reading, that information is in the description box. 
as well as how to get entered into the monthly drawing for a free reading. Thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.